Hey guys, Steve from Lakeshore RV Center. Just going to do the video orientation on your new Cougar travel trailer. We'll start on the outside here, uh, work our way to the inside. If you have questions on anything, um, feel free to give me a call. You can reach me at 231-736-9162. Like I said, we'll start right here at the entrance. These steps will flip up inside the coach. You want to make sure that this door is all the way open to accommodate for the width of the steps. This part right here, um, kind of hangs out a little bit bring this up for you and show you but you can see how close that clearance is so you want to make sure that door is all the way open so you don't catch the uh that part on the uh, door frame there and it gets bent you have two awnings on the outside here two speakers as well i'll show you how to operate all those that'll be done from the inside moving up to the pass-through storage right here this is your in-command hub um right here is where all the wires and everything come in it's kind of the brain for the uh for the unit if you take this panel off and i'll show you right here it does have a shows you right here what the wires are for right here these switches the motor one two three four and five these are going to operate everything from the slide outs to the actual awnings so like this your awning over the slide that can all be operated with the in-command system, but if the in-command system, let's say it's not operable, then you can go ahead and do the slide outs. Your first three, M1, 2, and 3, are going to be for the slide outs. Four and five are going to be for the awnings on it. So to um, manually operate those, that's how you would do that. Moving to the front of the coach, 12-volt deep cycle battery inside the box, two 30-pound tanks. These are going to be full. This is your right here on and off the free tongue jack that is just going to be for the light it has nothing to do with the functionality of it itself extend retract pretty self-explanatory with that so go to the other side of the pass-through storage you'll notice right here this is going to be for the leveling system shows voltage auto level the jacks are already down uh, the guys are actually prepping the trailer right now so those are down uh, to operate that fairly simple and straightforward the instructions are right here on the inside of the door and i will send out like a supplement video to this one uh, that shows how to operate that white switch right here this is actually going to be for the uh, cap lights the amber lights right there that's what that is for it is a 50 amp um, connection on it this is from 50 to 30 and then your um, 30 down to 15 so you can plug it in at home and then sewer hose right there so we continue along the side of the, the camper here a hot water tank this is a six gallon gas electric that's operated from the inside and then you have your sewer connection right here your black um, tank pole and then your two gray tanks are just off to the to the right there so this does have uh, two gray tanks one's for the kitchen area it would be called galley one for the bathroom for the shower and the sink and then the black tank obviously that is going to be for the sewer furnace to exhaust right here keep in mind when the furnace is on or the hot water heater both of those exhausts are going to be extremely hot so um you know don't lean anything up against it that could melt or burn this is for the microwave vent and then also access panels for the refrigerator right here nothing you would have to do with that um, that would be more for service um, if it's needed on the refrigerator. Like I said, 50 amp cord that plugs in right here. Your docking station in the back. I'll open that up. This is where you're going to connect your water. It also has the black tank flush um, for the camper right here. And you can see where everything hooks up. That's going to be your water diverter. It shows you right here if you want to fill the, uh, the tank fill. That's where that's at right now. If you bring that blue uh, lever down, that'll divert it for city water. So if you're at a campsite that has um, water on site and you hook the hose up, you'll just turn it down to city. Uh, where it says caution, that is your black tank flush right there. And then above that is for the outside uh, shower. We'll keep that right there. Moving along to the back corner, this is going to be 
you've heard the reference for the key TV for Keystone. This is where the hookups are for the satellite and cable if you're at a park that has that. If it does not have either, you can go ahead and take this, plug it right into the cable. This is for the uh, antenna on the coach. And that would plug into the cable slot. Ladder up to the roof, and this is also prepped for the Furion rear backup camera and also the observation camera. Two inch receiver hitch, that does have a weight capacity of 300 pounds. Spare tire next to that. As we go along to the side of the camper here, we'll jump in and I'll show you that and then also go over the in command system on it. Walking into the coach, light switch right here. That is going to be for the lights in the sl slide out. That's right there. Theater seating to recline. There's a pull inside each of these. Both of those recline if you want the light on. That's for the cup holder and then also underneath the um, seat itself. It does have um, vibrate and massage, so heat and massage on both of these. To the back, hide a bed sofa in the, um, in the back of the camper here that'll turn into a bed. Light switch, this is going to be for the uh, main coach lights. That's in the back and then USB and then power outlet on both sides right there. Ferion uh, stereo, this is an AM, FM, CD, DVD player. Also has Bluetooth capability. Two zones, zone one is going to be for your inside speakers. You have four speakers up in the ceiling and then two on the outside. So zone two is going to be for the outside. You can run them together independently from each other uh, as well. Like I said, it does have DVD and it's already wired into the Summit TV there. Fireplace, this is an electric space heater. You can turn it on right here. You can adjust the temperature on it if you'd like. The different levels, this right here, just basically changes the color of the flame on the uh, unit. And there is a remote um, for this and the television inside um, the kitchen cabinet right here. One remote and then also for the uh, stereo. Your drawers are right here. Extra storage. Storage. And storage there. Inside this is going to be the remote. And then your owner's manuals are going to be inside the blue bag here more drawers right there as well the refrigerator this is a Dometic this is eight cubic foot and the fridge this is on automatic right now it's on on automatic so being plugged into electric it defaults to electric if we were to unplug right now it would go over switch over to gas so if you wanted to run this going down the road make sure your gas tanks are open to provide a fuel source for the refrigerator there's the fridge part there. Next to this is going to be your three um, burner stove top with the oven underneath. You have your controls right here for the uh, burners on the top. This is going to be for the oven right here. This switch is just for backlighting. If you go down it does turn the uh, oven light on as well. And then this is just the spark ignition. See it right there to ignite the uh, the burners on the stovetop. Going over to the counter here, so it's opening the drawers for you. The different storage underneath this one. This is an LP carbon monoxide detector. Next to that, this is going to be your fuse panel, and then also for your circuit breakers. And those are all individually labeled to tell you what they are for. AC unit right here. This is the quick cool option. If you close this, it will push the air through the vents just like so. So we'll keep that shot, show you how to operate that in just a moment. Into the bathroom. Right now, this is a travel position. You can see how that's locked. You do have light switch inside here. 
uh, GFI outlet. So if you have some outlets that aren't working, make sure that this isn't tripped. If it is, go ahead and reset it. Next to that is the foot flush toilet. That operates just like so. Um, I'm not sure if they've got water into this yet. But push it down and that'll open the valve for the commode. Into the bedroom, king bed, outlets on each side for power and then USB light switch right there for the bedroom. If you want to put a uh, TV in here, there's right here um, mounting bracket location that has a wood backer on it and then you can hook up the uh, power and the sail light antenna right there. Full um, hanging wardrobe and then on top this does have a light. Any of the lights that are not on a switch, they have a switch right in the middle of the light itself to turn it off and on. And there's just going to be a few of them. There's not a whole lot that are going to be um, like that. We'll finish up here at the in command. To turn the unit on, just push the on button. Um, right now it's saying travel lock engaged. Um, we're going to, we will disengage that. Um, again, the guys are um, prepping this, so they're going through all the systems. You have heating and cooling right here. Um, front AC optional. No front AC, just the rear AC on this. So what you'll want to do is toggle over to the rear AC, and then from there you can see how it's on cool. Uh, they have it set down to 58. You can see it's 75 degrees in here, so they're just trying to get this to operate. Um, to set the temperature, just the up and down arrows to whatever temperature you would like. And then if you want the heat on, just turn the heat for the furnace. Automatic, that will switch between heat and cool depending on what it needs to get to the set temperature. Next mode would be off. And then back on to fan. From there we go back to cool where we were at. And you can just toggle through the different modes to uh, get it to where you want, um, you know, the heat or the uh, AC on. Or if you just want to shut the whole system off, you can just toggle over to off. But we'll keep that on because the guys are going to be working in here. Um, going back to the home menu, lights, pretty self-explanatory. There is um, bedroom ceiling lights. Bedroom, turn those off and on. Ceiling lights, that's for the main area right here. The awning lights, that is going to be for underneath the awning. And that's going to be the LED light strip right there for the awning lights. Turn that back on. Back to home, slide outs and awnings. These are all out right now, so I'm just going to leave it alone. But that's how you would operate it. You do have to hold down um, right here if you want it to go in or out. So it's not like you touch it and it automatically does it. You'll have to keep your finger on that. And then settings right here. Um, everything from Bluetooth, if you want to sync your phone up, you can download this app and connect it to the unit. Wi-Fi, time and date, uh, passcode, if you want to change the passcode, which is four zeros to begin with. So the default passcode is zero, 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 right at the, uh, let's go and get it to bring it up. No, um, but it'll ask you for the passcode when you turn this on the first time. Underneath shows you the battery. Water pump is on. Um, hot water heater, we're testing both right now. You can do gas and electric. That's what the guys are doing to make sure everything's working. And then, um, again, interior lights, if you just want to turn everything off and on, you can go ahead and do that. At the top here, uh, we're fresh. We do have fresh water in the uh, fresh water tank. Like I said, they're, they're testing everything right now. Um, above that, you can turn the heat pads on. Right here for the fresh water or for the waste water is gray and black. And then you also would have content gauges here. As the black and gray get filled up, it'll display over here like the fresh water does. And that is the uh, in command system itself. Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. You can reach me at 231 736 9162. And I really appreciate your guys' business. And I hope you have many great years of usage and memories with your new camper. Thank you.